Hello, it's Kate from inkstampshare.ink. I've got a nice little uh, thank you card to show you how to make today. It doesn't have to be a thank you card. It's just a, a pretty card really. You can send it for pretty much any occasion. Um, and I've used the Dragonfly Dreams bundle out of the Stamping Up Spring Summer catalogue to make the card. And uh, during the celebration promotion, which is going on at the moment, uh, one of the free items that you can earn is this beautiful glimmer paper and I thought it would be perfect to cut the drag detailed dragonfly out uh, with this pretty paper. Now I'll show you the papers that you get. Um, you get this pack of glimmer paper and it comes in three beautiful colours. This one's the mint macaron, that's the Bermuda Bay that I've used in this card and that's perfect plum and they all match exactly with the colours um, in the stamping up colour range. Um, the Spring Summer Catalogue is this one, let me show you the print. This one has got lots of lovely products in it and the one range that we're using today is the Dragonfly Dream stamps and we're using the detailed dragon, Dragonfly Thinlet dies to cut the Dragonfly out with. Um, it's really beautiful, it has that lovely bee in there as well that I've been using a lot. And um, if you don't know what celebration is, um, that goes alongside, it's this uh, great promotion that Stamping Up do from January through to the end of this month, so we've only got a couple of weeks left of it. And if you uh, spend £45 in either that catalogue or our big annual one, um, you can earn some products for free. And uh, those papers are one of them, and all the products are fabulous. But yeah, if you really like these Glimmer papers, they're not going to be around for long, so just, just to warn you if you want them, get them while you can. Right, but this is our card that we're going to use today. And um, it's quite a simple card to make, actually, so I'll crack on with it. All right, I've chosen to use this colour cardstock. It's called Bermuda Bay, and I've cut it in half. It's an A4 sheet of paper cut in half, and I've scored it down the middle to make a medium-sized card blank like that. And then I've, my layered panel to go on the front is just half a centimetre smaller all the way around. If you want the dimensions of everything we've used and the materials and how to make it, um, pop over to my blog, it'll be on there. That's inkstampshare.ink. Okay, so that's this one. Now we're going to have a bit of fun and get a bit inky now, which is always great, isn't it? Just to get a bit messy with your card making. I've got some of these sponge brayers. That stamping up supply they're fabulous and um, I'm going to use the coordinating inks so I have chosen to use the Bermuda Bay and this one this color here so this one is peekaboo peach there we go and I've put in blushing bride for a little bit of pale pink and the sentiment I've stamped in this lovely dark uh, brown it's called early espresso it's a lovely color Okay, so I'll show you what we're going to do. It's a fairly simple thing. I'm going to take my sponge brayer and I'm going to ink it up quite well. And then I'm going to apply the colour to the card panel. Now I'm going to alternate the directions that I roll it in so I don't get any harsh lines. And I don't want a lot of colour, I literally just want to take the glare of the white away. There we go. And you can layer up as much colour on there as you like, but you feel it's how you'd like it to look. Sun is shining here, it's a beautiful day. Right. There we go. I think that's enough colour on there. So you could see in contrast to the to the grid paper that it's taking the colour quite well. And this is where the fun part begins. So, out of my detailed dragonfly thinlets, which are these ones, cut them as part of the middle, there's a large dragonfly as well. And I've cut out with a large dragonfly my kind of template. You can see I've used it a fair bit, it's got a bit grungy. But that's, that's the die cut. I'm going to use that as a stencil on my, um, on my panel here. And roughly in the middle, where I want my main dragonfly to go, I'm going to pop in there. And I'm going to ink up my roller again. 
And just by holding it down with my finger, I'm going to roll over him. Nothing too accurate, just apply some colour. And you'll think there's nothing on there. No more than you had before. But if you take your dragonfly away, you can see you've left like a watermark. Hope you can see that on the video. Yeah, so I'm going to carry on doing that, but I'm going to apply some different colours. I love this blushing bride. I'm going to put one of those in the corner. Down here. It's a bit of a contrast colour, so I don't want to go too heavily on it. Just smudge it in so it's no harsh lines. And if you take it away, you can see your dragonfly. I hope you can see that. And then I'm going to do another one in that colour, I think, at the top. And you can place your dragonflies any way up that you, you like or you find pleasing. I think I'm going to put him there. Her, him. Makes a squeaking sound, sorry. There we go. And on the other side, I'm going to put the peach colour. I'm just going to, instead of changing this, this these come with spare heads, I'm just going to take any off because I've barely got any on there so I don't contaminate my peach one. Just use the pink one that's got nothing left on it. And they wash in warm soapy water, these foam pieces, they just come off. And they wash perfectly. And I'm going to pop it. I think I'm going to make him go upwards. I'm going to pop him here. Like so, I think. Makes me feel like I'm being arty and creative. Even though I'm not particularly. Yeah. So we've got a peach one going in there. I rather like that. I might put a bit of peach one at the bottom as well. So all our dragonflies are flying around. This is the hardest part of the card. There's not much else to it. Just smudge that in so I don't have a line. There we go. So that's my panel. Put that ink away. Then I'm going to cut out this pretty, pretty dragonfly. I know I've got my big shot right next to me, so you'll probably hear it. You'll probably hear it cranking through. So here we go. Put the large die on the magnetic plate. It's such a useful thing to have, and I'm using the most of my glimmer paper. <coughs> Excuse me. So. This is the large die. You can see I've been using my paper quite well. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to grab my little um, die brush. Now, I, I did think I had to be convinced about this brush. Um, but as usual, now I've got one, I wouldn't be without it. So it's just, let me show you. It's a foam pad, basically, with this brush. And instead of going through with your pokey tool on these detailed dies and having to poke each thing out if it doesn't fall out or if you flick it, it doesn't come out very quickly, you just give it a go with the, uh, with the brush. And it helps quite a lot. And it's not going to get every single bit out every single time, but it will save you a lot of effort, as you can see. It's pretty good, isn't it? And then, you know, there's just the odd bit that might need to come out. But I like that. There, it's done. How beautiful is that? I don't know if you can see the sparkle there. And if I do it in the box, you see I'm a bit lazy. So I do it in the box and then I can just pour the box into the bin as I'm sweeping my floor again. <laughs> okay, let's put that die away. And this is going to go onto my card. And... Um, I'm actually just going to stamp my sentiment 
straight onto the card. I'm going to be brave in the early espresso, and I chose thanks for the smile and everything else. There's a lot of lovely sentiments in this stamp set. This is the stamp set, and it's got that beautiful B on there that I've been using. It's got to a wonderful friend, enjoy your special day. You sure know how to make someone happy, and thanks for the smile and everything else. And you can stamp out all these beautiful dragonflies too. So I'm going to stamp mine now in the early espresso ink. Just fingers crossed, because I'm doing it straight onto the card, that it works well. It doesn't make a mess. So I've got my dragonfly roughly where I think I'm going to put it afterwards. Ink up my stamp. I'm just going to test it out. Yeah, that's fine. And I'm going to float my sentiment where I'd like it to go. Just pop it where I want, really. Thanks for the smile and everything else. I've got black ink on me. It finds me. Perfect. It worked great. So I'm going to put my dragonfly on with the dimensionals. These sticky foam pads. You can see I love them because I've used a lot of these ones. And I'm just going to cut one up. In fact, I might just use the edge part. If you see the edge down here, it's great for cutting up and putting on small items. <laughs> now, let's just do this. And I'm going to let his wings float so that they can give a bit of extra dimension. I'm just going to stick him at the top. I think that'll be enough. He'll be stuck hard with that. I'm gonna put him on there. Just where I want him to go, anyway, really. I can see that one. You can cut them as small as you need, but that's fine. There we go, thanks for the smile and everything else. Now I've got my card blank out of the way. I've tidied it away now and I can't find it. Here it is, it's under that pretty glimmer paper. Okay, so I'm going to pop it on here and I'm going to raise mine up with dimensionals as well just for the fun of it. I just think it gives it a little bit of height and something extra. bits. You can use the edge parts of the dimensional sheets as well down the middle of your card if you want to use them up. Yeah. Are we there? Yes, we're there. Hooray! So this is going to go on the front and that is my finished card. I hope you like this dragonfly, I love him. He's beautiful stamped also, but I thought this glimmer paper was crying out for a dragonfly. I hope you enjoyed this project. If there's anything that you would like that's on the, that we've used in the project, on the, pro, on the project, please have a look at my shop, it's all on there. That's uh, katebolt.stampinup.net um, and have a look at my blog for the dimensions of the card it's inkstampshare.ink thanks a lot, bye